there's this game called Battle Cats, and the developers asked me to recreate their game in Scratch to help promote it. Scratch is not really meant for complicated games at all. But this feels like the perfect opportunity to push Scratch to its limits, so I accepted the challenge, and I have the next two days to make the most complicated Scratch project I have ever attempted. And to make sure we actually do a good job on our game, I found the biggest Battle Cats player I know to be the judge of our remake. How many hours do you have in Battle Cats? 10,792. Oh no. I honestly don't know anything about this game. But thankfully, the Battle Cats team did give me some instructions. So I have these videos that I think I'm supposed to follow that should make this actually doable. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> why is, why? Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Is the whole thing in cat language? Oh wait, okay, wait, you can change the language up here. Okay, so it, it should be fine. What? Why are there 15 different cat languages and no English? What is this? A affectionate? Meow. Meow, 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 meow. 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 Okay, let's just figure out how to make this game ourselves. I don't need a tutorial. I'm a game developer. I'm not an amateur. You guys know that. Let's just hope this is like a really simple game. Really easy game to remake. So we use our cats to fight the dogs. I don't think that's a cat. Oh my, oh my, I guess there is a cat. Do we have to make all of these? They have anime girls too? These aren't even cats anymore. What are these? This feels like a lot of work. I have no idea how we're going to recreate this game in the next two days, but I guess we have to get started. We actually have a cat right now, but it needs to look a little more like this guy. Yeah, maybe, maybe we don't use this cat head. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. We have a circle. Okay, this is looking pretty good, right? Why does it look like this? Now let's start making our dog. Okay, so... Oh, what happened? What happened? What happened? What? what? Honestly, I think we're cooking. This guy did a really cool technique to animate sprites in Scratch that I want to try. So basically, there's this thing. I think it's this, and you do, like, fish eye. Um... I don't think that's how you do it. I think you can actually just do like a sine wave or something. It's starting to be animated, guys. And I think what this guy did offset the animation. He basically like moved this down. He created like an invisible thing here. It makes him like squash. See, see, it's animating. Maybe we have a little bit of work to do. Okay, the animation feels really stupid. Sure, whatever, it's fine. Look, I feel like it looks pretty cool. I think we're doing pretty good. This is getting intense. Bro, watching paint dry twice would be more intense. Okay. We need like a cat spawning system still. Maybe we make it so that you can like spawn cats by clicking a button. Much better, much better. And then we want to have like a visual indicator while the button is not able to be pressed. All right, now when we press it, it turns gray, just like in Battle Cats. One thing I want to do is add a little progress bar. I know what to do. Great, 100 costumes and just each of the percentages. I think this is going to be clean. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> we have a freaking game now. Would you look at that? We basically literally factually already have a game. Let me get like a little placeholder backdrop in here too. I'll make this look a little nicer later, I think. So let's figure out how the enemies actually spawn and like behave and attack. So I think we should actually play some battle cats. This is kind of like a mid game chapter, part of into the future, which is supposed to take place in the future with like aliens and stuff. But I just want to see how this game actually works so we can implement attacking. So I'm guessing all the enemies have a certain health and when they touch, they probably take turns attacking each other, kind of. I'm kind of getting the hang of this, you know? Oh, we won. We are so good. Now that I know a little bit more about how this game works, I think it's time we create the battle system. We have cats and we have dogs, but they just walk through each other, which that's not, that's not how that's supposed to work. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to, if touching, or now let's just do this. So now the dog should stop when it touches the cat. Okay, it works. And then we can make the cat stop when it touches the dog. Now they should stop each other when they collide. Look at this battle system. 
Okay. Every cat will have its own attack delay, its own attack strength, and its own health. So as a placeholder, it's just gonna play a meow right now. So let's see if that works. It should play a meow every five or 10 seconds. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> All right, let's try this. It's attacking. It might not look like it, but it is attacking. Change health by, we need the attack strength of the dude. If health is less than one, delete this clone, okay. And now let's see if our cat kills our dog now. It should work. Yes, our cat's doing good, look at him go. Okay, I feel like it works pretty well. It's probably gonna like break when there's lots of things going on, but it should be good enough. I feel like we need to add some camera panning and camera zoom, which is kind of hard to do in Scratch, but technically I actually have code like this in a game that I made. Oh, here it is. We have a camera now, that's pretty cool. Now that we have all of this space, we can actually create the cat towers and they won't be super cramped. This background needs to be better though, obviously. It's like a little stupid. I think that looks better. It matches the game a little bit better. Oh, it's really cool actually, that's cool. Battle freaking cats is coming together in Scratch. And there's like an economy system. I guess if you make enough money, you can upgrade this worker cat in the bottom left. I think it raises the speed of which you gain money and also your max cap of how much money you can keep saving. The way it works is in the right side of the screen, you have a counter for your money. It's kind of ugly, but do you see the vision? In the bottom right, we need to have a little worker cat that has eight stages, kind of like this. There's gonna be a few different costumes for the worker cat. Level one is... Okay, he has like this face. Do we have to really draw every single one? That's a lot of work. Maybe for now we just don't. For every upgrade, it'll have a variable for like money, gain, speed. So level one is 420 cents. Level two is 840 cents. It's multiples of 420, okay. Something like this should work. Now when you start the game, you gain money. There's a few different levels and there's a different money gain speed for all of them. 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3. Look how rich we are. If only it was that easy in real life. So it's grayed out by default. And then once we get enough money, we need 420 cents. We can buy that. Oh, let's go. And when you hit the money cap, you stop gaining money. That's not how it works in real life, though. That's why we have people like Elon Musk. All right, so now when you buy a cat, it should take your money. So if I go here, it works. It works. It works. It works. It works. And when you first start the game and you don't have money, it's gray. That easily, we implemented the entire economy of Battle Cats. Now let's check out our tower. I'm gonna make this Battle Cats tower. I'm a little scared. I don't really know if this will turn out good. It looks dumb. It looks dumb. Okay, Loki. Starting to look pretty good. And then... We have the door, make some ears. I've never had to make something so complicated before in Scratch. Oh, perfect. I think our cat tower is done now, but we still have to make our enemy tower, which I don't even know what it's supposed to look like. Hopefully it's a little bit easier to draw, but first I wanna actually make the towers work. I feel like that's pretty important. So I guess we have this tower, which right now has no code besides the code for the camera. Let's make a variable for this sprite only called health. This will be similar to how the cats themselves take damage. When I receive damage, cat, tower. If touching dog enemy, then we change health by negative three. If health is less than one, then delete the clone. Please work, please work, please, please, please work. How come it breaks like that when there's two of them? I don't know what happened, it's broken, it's so broken, it's so broken. I guess this, since there's only one cat tower, there doesn't need to be an if touching dog enemy, right? Why does it do that? It shouldn't go that fast. Oh, it's because attack timer is set to zero. Now it should go down like twice. Bark, bark. Yes, let's make the enemy tower. I feel like we could pick any tower to remake. I kind of like this one right here. And let's see what we can do. I definitely did not pick this one because it's the easiest one to draw. Okay, so far looking good, kind of. It kind of looks like it was drawn by an eight year old, but at this point, so does the rest of the game, so. There we go, okay. We have our beautiful enemy tower. Now we just need a way to destroy it. When I receive a new message called damage enemy tower, then we quite simply do all of this. We did it, we beat the game. The first 
ever victory in Battle Cat Scratch. So I feel like now that we have that, we need to make the win screen and the lose screen. And I want to add the ability to restart the game because I think having to use the green flag and like the red stop sign is kind of just like kind of just tacky, honestly. Like I'm too good at the game, so I never lose. So I have to just pull up a picture of the lose screen. If you lost, it's going to say defeat. Bum, bum, bum. And then victory. That looks pretty good. There we go. There we go. And now what I'm going to simply do is we have a few little thingies to do to finish up this part of our game. When the cat tower is defeated, dead to one, which is game over. Then in my enemy tower, here we're going to set dead to two. That should trigger the costume for the end screen. Okay. If... Yes, you have a victory screen. Okay, so at this point, we pretty much have a working recreation of battle cats. You can spawn cats. The cats battle the enemies. The, the sound might need some work, but... And you can destroy the enemy base. And you can restart. You can upgrade your worker cat. We have every feature from the game in here. Don't quote me on that. But right now we literally have one cat and one enemy. So I feel like we need to add a little more when the game has all of this stuff. What are these characters? <laughs> that is not an animal. I don't know what that is. I think it's time we create another enemy. And there's one enemy I've been dying to recreate. The snake. Look at how cool he looks. All right, I'm going to screenshot this. Guys, we might actually be cooking with the snake. Look at this. Jeez Louise, dude. It's so ugly. It's, it's like, it's just not very smooth. It's probably eventually going to be good enough. Just don't like look at it for too long. And it looks pretty similar. Look at the animation. Wait, it actually looks so good. What kind of cats does this game actually have? Because there's a lot. This is how you unlock cats. It's like a gotcha game. You use tickets on cat capsules that give you a random cat. But we got... Super feline. Okay. Let's see what else we got. What is that? Ew. Lizard cat. We we might have to have a lizard cat. All right. Let's see what else we get. Ew. Titan cat. Okay. It does kind of look like the Attack on Titan characters, but it also just looks like a disturbing, creepy, naked human. So it's you? This is not... No, I Look, I don't... St okay. I guess I... Guess I kind of... I kind of look like the Titan cat. Let's see what else we get. We have a lot of tickets left. Let's try a lucky capsule this time. Oh, wait, this one's cute. Little bird cat. Look at how cute he is. I'm putting you in my Google Doc. Let's see what else we get. What is this guy? Tank cat. Is this just a regular cat, but taller? You know, I like this one because it seems really easy to draw. So we're definitely saving this one. All right, let's see what we get from a rare capsule this time. Swimming cat. Wait, is that what it's called? Swimmer cat. <laughs> that one actually is pretty cool. Wait, Ogo cat. Dude, this is kind of addictive. Surfer cat. Okay, surfer cat is pretty cool. All right, I may have had to spend all of my money on Battle Cats capsules, but now we have some cats that we can add to our game. Okay, I mean, it's it's definitely something. Okay, I need to add the legs now. He has these giant chicken legs for some reason. That's actually not that bad. Wait, if you zoom out and like maybe squint your eyes a bit, like I feel like that looks pretty good. Who should we add next? We have some options. We have to do Lil Bird Cat. Look at how cute it is. Let's duplicate the basic cat. Now we just need the wings. And there we go. This might be my favorite cat in Battle Cats so far. I mean, I haven't seen them all. The animations are getting weirder and weirder every time. I think now we need to add the tank cat. I'm just gonna take our cat, duplicate it, expand. Even the mouth is a bit different too. I feel like that kind of looks like it. There we go. Now it's looking good. I think it's time for the Titan cat. Okay, this one is a little bit more difficult than the others. Okay, honestly, the head does not look that bad. This might be the worst one we've done. I think that's good enough. <laughs> that's honestly good enough for me. Wait, that looks kind of cool, actually. He's like breathing. I think we could do the pogo stick cat. We have like his body. I feel like we're getting better at making these cats. Somehow this one actually turned out really good. It's okay. Look, he's like hop. He's hopping. That's like how you use a pogo stick, I feel like. Could be a lot worse, so we're moving on. Let's do two Two more cats, but let's make them crazy ones. The 50 hours ends at midnight, which is literally one hour and nine minutes from now. All right, whatever cat we pull, I am going to remake because I can't decide at this point. 
shaman cat that has a lot of detail on it. All right, all right. Okay. Why do I have to pull the most detailed cat in the entire game? It looks so cooked. I don't even know what this thing is from, by the way. It's definitely from a game or something. I feel like this has to be good enough. Shaman cat, let's go. It looks kind of dumb, but we did it. All right, now we have one more cat we'd add. Battle cats has a ton of absolutely horrifying cats. So at the very least, we need to add something scary. Wait, what about this guy? <laughs> okay, we have to have this guy in our game. This might have been a bad idea. We were doing so well with the last one. <laughs> okay, guys, face cat, 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 yes, face cat, yes. Now it's just sound effects. And we have 28 minutes to completely fix all of the sound effects in this game. First of all, let's figure out how the sound effects work in Battle Cats. Bling, bling, bling. <laughs> I want every mouse click to have that. Bling. Can I like pitch it up? Bling. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's perfect. Our first sound effect. Bling. Okay, yeah. It's there. It's there. I don't know. It's not that good, but it's there. It's there. We also need the Battle Cat song. I don't have time to learn this song. We just got to go for it. We just got to go for it. Dun, 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 dun. Why does this always happen with every game I ever make? This game is good. This game is not gonna be bad. And then we need like a victory jingle, maybe. Bum ba bum 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 ba dum bum. Let's freaking go. All I wanna do now is I'll call it hit. And that might be it. Did we finish the game? We have 47 seconds left, so hopefully. Uh, it's only a little bit better than that time I beheaded Aya, but I think this is the best scratch game I've ever made. But I guess we have to see what actual Battle Cats players think of my version. I'm getting my chair nice and warm for you oh. because it's time. Now, just remember 50 hours is not a lot of time, so I consider you just a really good friend, you know, so um, just, you know, you, you don't have to be too harsh on me. I'm just one guy, you know, Battle Cats is like a whole, probably millions of people made that game over like years and years and years. You can spawn cats and there's dogs. Where's the animations? Like, shouldn't they be chomping? Those look like animations to me. Um, I mean, I feel like that looks pretty cool. I guess I'm gonna be saving up for the uh, face cat and hopefully it should win all my battles. So yeah. 400, let's go. <laughs> See, face. the face cat makes this game. Like, look how good the face cat looks. We're gonna have a total dub here. Uh, what? Okay, look, why, it's, why is it's the a face, little- Why is he so weak? It's a little unbalanced. Um, all right. Sorcerer cat, go! See, look, isn't that pretty good art? Like, I feel like this is, like, professional. Quality. The art is really good. He's yeah. weak, too. What about this big guy? Yeah, he's got a nice body, like... I know, I know. Like, that, that's gotta give me a few points. Like, I feel like he's pretty funny. Oh, what? Yeah. He died! Pogo cat, I choose yeah, you! Why is his groin increasing weak. and decreasing his size? He's pogo jumping! <laughs> he's just pogo jumping. That's how you pogo jump, okay? All right, pogo cat, I believe in you. Okay. All right, it's time. Come on, come on, come on. Look at all the cats. Look at this pretty beautiful game, if you ask me. All right, we're almost at the uh, main gates. All right, you got this. Easy, you got this. I, th I think you're going to win. I think there's no way you lose at this point. Nice. Boom. Boom. I won! You win anyway. I won! Let's go, see? You're so good at this game, and this game is so good, too, isn't it? Just such no, a great... No, it wasn't. This is the worst game I've ever played. I'm surprised it took 50 hours. Uh, you, you can leave just to get out. My game might not have been a huge success, but the actual Battle Cats is way more fun and is packed with content. We really only scratched the surface of this game. You can download the Battle Cats on iOS or Android for free using this QR code or the link in the description. To celebrate 100 million downloads, you can grab awesome login rewards, free cat food gifts from the Wildcat slots, limited golden towers stages, and more fun events through April 7th, 2025. Download it now.